Oh, Hobo Tom. Oh, Hobo Tom. That's right. Wait a second. Why did that not say something's wrong? Oh, wait, that's right. This YouTube has a new algorithm. So it potentially demonetizes you if, say, words like. Dog. Um. And other creative sailor phrases. So yeah, so I might have to tone things down a little bit. But as you can tell, I'm wearing my Macho Man shirt and I'm back in my office, baby! Yes, my house is, I'll say, 85% done. Still need some minor tweaking. As you can tell behind me, the door of wrestling, it's no more. Um, and I have to get a calendar too. I didn't see any, I don't know, swimsuits are just like for the kids in their 20s. I'm gonna have to find a pinup calendar. That's what I like. Yeah, cat calendar seems meh. Again, something you get when you get old. I'm not that old yet. I have to find a. I have to find me a good pinup calendar. Big lots. Big lots always has good pinup calendars. I'm not here to shill for big lots. I'm here to do one thing, and almost one thing only in my macho man shirt. Ooh, yeah! I'm the macho whisk king of them all, yeah! I'm back, baby! So you know what? Hit my music. That's right, folks. And it's time for our Royal Rumble predictions. As far as I know, there's only going to be five matches. I won't be covering this, but you know what, folks? Because I am back in my own house, as long as El Vagabundo doesn't show up and turn it into a Mexican house. Darn this algorithm. I can't say anymore. But it's fun to say, because there are a bunch of here in Daytona Beach. And it's fun to go, but no. Darn it, algorithm. I'll try to be better. More civilized. If I can. But let's get down to my predictions. Yes. Um, I, have no, I have no idea what order this is going to show up in. And I'm doing things based off of a little bit of what might happen for WrestleMania. So that's the next big pay-per-view. Survivor Series was War Games. Royal Rumble. Yeah, because that's in April-ish. Yeah, it's like sometime in April. So yeah. So that's January, February, March. It's only like th three months away. Probably a little bit less than that because February has weird days in it. Yeah. So I have no idea what's going to happen. I have no idea the match order. I cannot cover it because I'm going to be working the Rolex 24 that night. That is my 18-hour day, folks. 18 straight hours of being on my feet on concrete. It's actually not too bad because it's a massive pay. It's a massive payday for me. And don't worry, folks, I will be sending you behind-the-scenes footage of the Rolex 24. Mainly the stuff that I, the one the only Hobo Tom sees. Because I work there. Yeah. So I'll be putting, I'll be posting that video up probably Monday. And because I'm back at my house, baby, 
Um, there will be the all women's. Oh, wait a second. I mean the. Lo no. I hate this algorithm. Yeah, it'll be the all women's matches come uh, St. Valentine's Day. That will be up and posted. Again, that one goes out to all the ladies. And you know, I'm back in the hobo house. Because you can't see her right now. But because I have the camera set up. Because I have a different desk. My other desk got ruined. This desk is a lot nicer. Oh, someone's scratching stuff. That's good. But the hobo cat is here with me. He's exploring things. So things are looking on the up and up. But let's get to some predictions. Um, again, I have no idea what order this is going to be in. They kind of do random things. A couple of these are, are, for the most part, chalk. I'll find out. I don't know, sometime. And as... Oh, just a little news and note. I probably won't be doing a lot of... Um, shared videos or live stream reactions mainly because I do have to work a lot more Again, it's good so YouTube gives me some of that sweet cashola that they love taking away from people evil YouTube I, I'll, I'll get used to that eventually yeah I won't be doing a lot of reaction stuff it's just unfortunately the way things go when you have a real job and are making real money, guess what you have to do, folks? Pay the bills. So, enough of that. Enough of my utter nonsense. Let's start off with the Royal Rumble. I think it'll be the Men's Royal Rumble match. Actually, probably the Women's Royal Rumble. So that's probably like the least, the thing we know the least about. You know what? I have absolutely no clue. Charlotte Flair wins. And the only reason I say that, in taking a look at the participants, she's the only one who's really worthy enough to get a title shot. She would be that big name. I mean, Becky Lynch, in theory, could get it, I guess. She's in a feud with Bailey, though. They probably cancel each other out. Charlotte Flair's there. Woo! She's Charlotte Flair. Um, let's see here. And I'll say we'll have in a lights out match, in a or dark match. I don't know what that means. That, that should be interesting because I I'll definitely see highlights of it sometime. Um, Bray Wyatt versus L A. Night, also known as Eli Drake, but LA Knight and um, Max Maxim. Wow, I don't, I'm so glad they ditched that. That was funny though, and he did, he just tries so hard. You know what? LA Knight, I always appreciate your work, but I think. Bray Wyatt, man. The Eater of Worlds, man. Even though LA Knight, even though Bray Wyatt's the tall on Raw, I have no idea what's going to happen on SmackDown. Because I'll be at work. Again, din it, din it, din it, din it, din it. Watching the races. Again, I will have full weekend behind the scenes stuff at that. Tomorrow is the BMW. But yeah, what am I saying? Bray Wyatt wins. This is his kind of match. LA Knight necessarily is going to get a little bit of a rub. He doesn't necessarily need to win this match. Everyone knows LA Knight's going to be... I mean, I could see him... Maybe... As an Intercontinental or U.S. Champion. They've elevated that U.S. belt, though. So I don't know. Maybe in, maybe the IC belt for LA Knight might be in his like, far future. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let's see. What should be next, then? You know what? Then we'll have the Men's Royal Rumble. 
And you know what? Cody Rhodes is going to win this. I can't... I really can't see... Anyone else winning it. Cody Rhodes seems like the obvious choice. But I think it's the right choice. So Cody Rhodes wins on his comeback. It's a Royal Rumble. So it's also... A good measure of how his surgery came out and what I mean by that because it's a Royal Rumble until he gets to the last four he, I mean he could get punched once and like fall in a corner and just like hang out for it. the Royal Rumble if you're injured or if you're a legend who's not bouncing around as much as he used to is kind of like the perfect setting because like a multi-man tag match you don't necessarily have to be in there 100% all the time like a singles match. So again, he could just tie up with someone and say, hey, listen, like, I think I tweaked this again. Or it doesn't feel 100%, but it's 90, 90%. Like, just like shove me in the corner and like try to throw me out for like 10 minutes. And let me do some stuff. Let me sit down. It's, it's a good way to get back into the flow, th flow of things, I think, especially for him and ha knowing that you had a, a torn pectoral muscle. So that, again, you don't, until the very end, you can kind of save yourself. So I think Cody Rhodes is going to win that for, again, all the reasons I stated. Then, of course, the match, you have, you have the cooler match, um, the bathroom break match. Bianca Bella versus Alexa Bliss. I don't know. I don't. They're doing creepy things with Alexa Bliss, but I don't necessarily think it's the right stuff. I'm trying to think. For you know what I'm gonna. I don't know. Bianca Belair retains the belt. Alexa Bliss can can go figure out to do whatever. I don't know, maybe you can win tag team champions. They still have those belts. I forget if they do or they don't. Because she could always team up with Nikki Cross. I mean, Bianca Belair versus Charlotte Flair. Or Becky Lynch or Bailey. Seems to be more money than Alexa Bliss versus either of those three. It just seemed like Alexa Bliss, if Alexa Bliss did win, it would be like she won this match to lose the belt. I don't think Paul Levesque is going to do that. So, yeah. Bianca Belair wins. She's a little bit more money match versus Charlotte Flair or Becky Lynch in the future. Then we have, probably have the main event. Damn it. Damn it. Fight owns fight. Kill Steen Kill. We have Kevin Owens versus the man who I personally acknowledge as my tribal chief. Well, I am not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns is going to win. He. Again, I could see him losing one of the belts. I can also see him keeping one belt. Or if they unify the belt, they could unify the belts under Cody Rhodes, and just give them, just bring back the big gold, big gold eagle belt. Hmm. I still think Roman Reigns is gonna win. Sami Zayn's gonna figure into this somehow, and pry into the Royal Rumble. I know Sami Zayn's hot. Who's hotter right now? Sami Zayn or Cody Rhodes? Sami Zayn or a Cody Rhodes comeback? Cody Rhodes just seems... And this is no slight on Sami Zayn. Cody Rhodes seems more WWE champion than Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn feels like a forever... I see your U.S. belt holder. I 
can't see the. Although, I could see him holding the tag team belts with Kevin Owens, though. So, yeah. That's kind of that. And that are my Royal Rumble predictions. Oh, wait a second. What's my Stone Cold Lock here? Um, oh, jeez. So hard because there's so few matches. The, the match to sleep through, I know, is Bianca Belair and Alexa Bliss. Let's just take a nap. Roman Reigns, Kevin Owens. Would be my match of the night. Oh, wait. Hobo Kitty Cat, come over here. Oh, the Hobo Cat's disappearing. C come back. Oh, there she is. You can kind of see her head rubbing against stuff. A lot of this office is new, so she wants to figure out what's hers. Yeah, Kevin Owens versus Roman Reigns. That's definitely the match of the night. And then the my stone cold lock of the night. going to be Bray Wyatt. Again, I'm 90% sure it's going to be Cody Rhodes. 95% sure it's going to be Charlotte Flair. And I'm just, I won't even bother with the Bianca Belair, Alexa Bliss match. Um, again, the Women's Royal Rumble. It's the Women's Royal Rumble. Well, that's good. She's in her toy box at least. There might be some, some slippage coming out. Who knows? I can say slippage, but I can't say the thing I really want to see. Darn it. But that's okay. <laughs> you guys can't see. I don't see her. Don't want to damage my settings. Look at that. Say what? Then she realized that she was on camera and went back towards her normal area. That's a decent setup. But yeah. You're being goofy, Hobo Cat. And other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching again. I'd like to thank everyone for their outpouring of support, compassion, and cheerful thoughts during that horrid three and a half months where I was in exile. But I'm back, baby! That's good. Um, future news and notes. I might be getting to the live Raw that's coming in Orlando. If you do, I'll definitely send, make videos for you guys um, about that. We'll see how that goes. Um, I might be getting back to NXT. It all depends on my work schedule. My work schedule is so goofy. I have no idea. And I have other stuff to do. So, I'll let you guys know what happens as stuff happens. Best I can offer. Again, other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Send me an email. Maybe. Yeah, I should check that email more often. I do have to check that email. I signed up to do something. They won my Gmail address. I think I should be getting one sponsor eventually. I don't know. We'll see about that. That's also that was also like something I saw on Gmail once. I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll see. We need some of that cold, hard cash, baby. Just like the Wu-Tang Clan says, cream rules any everything around me. Cash rules, yeah, because it's all about...